Hi viewers, welcome to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel before you watch this video. And this is the video five. And in this video, I am going to show you how to transform the CSV file data to the SQL Server type of file. That is, for this one, you need to have a valid CSV file. So this is shown here. I am having a ID column, name column, date column. That is date of birth, gender column. salary per month in rupees column so totally these are the columns and these are the data i am having the data is in the description the link for downloading this data so kindly download that one so the thing is so you need to go to the you need to open the sql server management studio and uh, select the databases ssis tutorials one don't give the same name as that of the ssis name itself because it will it will be showing you an error so after that so you need to open the visual studio with ssis in a project so that is a integration service project so once you open so it will be opening this page and you need to drag the data flow task from ssis toolbox here so from here so that i have shown in the previous video so if you click or double click on this uh, data flow task so it will be opening this window so now we need to drag the flat file source because you need to use the source as a uh, csv file that i have shown before so go to the sources so here in that you will be having a flat file source you drag that one so the flat file source will be uh, drag to the area so and uh, destination should be of ole db destination because we are going to convert csv file to ole db file so go to the destinations ole db destination so this is the thing so after that you need to create a connection manager but uh, rather than that uh, you can directly click on the flat file source that is double click on that one so it will be asking for the flat file connection manager click on the new so that it will be taking you to the area where the csv file is located so this is the flat file connection manager so csv source csv source i have given the name so and after that it will be asking for the file name to browse so click on the browse so go to the location where your csv file resides so my csv file is in under the folder that is ssis tutorials data so here it will be showing no matches but uh, you need to select that uh, csv files so click on this one so click open so see here it will be showing like this so after that uh, if you go to the columns so yes these things has been loaded now so if you want to preview you can preview those data so right so it so if you click on okay so after that you need to go to the columns so these are the things we got here and click okay now the connection manager csv source has been created here and after that you need to connect this flat file source to oledb destination so now it is showing red mark now you need to create a oledb connection manager so double click on this one so go to the new and it will be showing like this so in that again you go to the new so our database name is ssis tutorials 1 so select that one so i will be using the server name as dot so it will be asking to select the database name so the database name is ssis tutorials 1 so test connection so test connection succeed okay so click okay so now so no tables were there so create new so see here oledb destination so the oledb destination let it be now oledb file of csv so all that all those were loaded here so click okay 
so go to the mappings so see here already mapped so click uh, ok so now error has been gone so now if you click on start so the execution will be started that is csv data will be converted to oledb data so eight rows has been loaded to the oledb destination so here also a green tick mark has been shown here so in order to check that one so we need to go to the sql server management studio so go to the tables in the database so now we need to refresh those tables because here we need to see the converted file so see here oldb file of csv that is the converted file so now we need to check whether the data has been inserted or not now go to the select top 1000 rows so see here the data has been loaded to the oledb that means csv file is converted to oledb so this is how you convert the flat file the flat file source uh, type of connection data to the oledb file type of data so the next video will be on 17th december that is saturday at 1 pm so thank you so much